What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 17 of my FIFA 14 Road to Brazil series. Welcome back guys. And um, what this series is all about, traditional road to gold with my own slight Brazilian twist. We all have a bit of Brazilian in the game of FIFA. Um, nice bit of flair and stuff. But um, basically what it is, is we're going to start off with a silver non-rare base standard squad. You guys have probably heard me say this loads of fucking times. Uh, but uh, then we're going to upgrade the players depending on if we win or lose the games. If we win, we upgrade. If we lose, we downgrade. And um, we go from silver non-rare, silver rare, gold non-rare to gold rare. And um, we've completed the whole gold non-rare team. And then start going for some gold rare players and seem to be losing every game. But our record, not too bad. 32 wins, 17 losses, um, which to be fair is not too bad. I'd like a bit more wins on that. But um, we nearly doubled the amount. But we're going to go straight into the first game. We're going to play for Diego, the um, Atletico Madrid cam. Um, very, very good solid player to swap out for Edison, I do believe. is probably maybe the target. Um, but uh, we get into this game and um, I'm just hoping we get some more gold rare players because we seem to be playing atrociously. I think it's time for a ma formation swap. But uh, we come against this um, BPL with um, Hulk and Robinho. Um, uh, it's not even BPL. It's Brazilian mixed with a Spaniard. Um, but um, it, it's a fairly solid team. It's a bit sweaty in terms of pace and stuff. Um, but um, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to go and hopefully annihilate his ass. But um, we're going to have an over-the-top ball into Edison, who's going to get that through the keeper's legs to go and make that 1-0 in the 20th minute here. Then move into the 37th minute here, pick the ball up from a dodgy throw-in, um, find a nice free ball to Pato. He's going to swing that in, and we're going to get a near-post header from Edison to go and make that 2-0. 51st minute here, pick the ball up, find a bad, bad ball. Um, he's going to pick that up and he's going to slot that in. Mistake for myself, I stopped playing it out of defence. That is where I'm going wrong. But we ended up winning at 2-1. As you can see, the same amount of shots on target. High had 10% more possession than him. Probably deserved that victory. He wasn't the strongest of players and I ballsed up um, giving him some of the shots on target. But uh, that means we can go and upgrade to another gold rare player and hopefully should bolster up our attack force, hopefully getting more goals into the back of the net with the addition of Diego there. A very, very good cheap cam, guys, if you want to go and pick one up like him. A bit of club maintenance before we move on to the next player. You guys have seen him already. Felipe Melo. Come on, we need to get a good CDM in this team. We went for him before, ended up losing and having to downgrade. But uh, we're going to go and try and upgrade Fernandinho, which is kind of a risky move in the sense that if we do lose, we're going to have to downgrade to another silver rare player. But um, I'm deciding willing to take that. So we come against this guy here. Time to get the kits nice and sorted there. Um, I hate choosing the kits that are too similar. That's, just, that's one of my biggest pet peeves on FIFA. Uh, but to come against this 4-4-2 Liga Portuguesa team, um, which everyone knows that the Liga Portuguesa has got some fantastic, cheap, non-rare players to put in a team. Jackson Martinez, Edir, Quintelo, Varela, um, Reyes, Mangala, um, obviously transferred to Man City now actually. That's quite an impressive transfer. But uh, where the fuck is the defence? Anyone else see that through ball? That Jackson Martinez just steams on through. There's no one in sight and he's just going to put that in the back of the net to go and make that 1-0. Uh, we then find an over the top ball here and cut inside and Diego there scoring on his debut. A fantastic finish indeed from him. Uh, Paso turning his defender there and look at that. That's just Aid. I'd be so pissed if that happened to me. Uh, but um, it gets karma. Karma's a bitch. Like, look at that. I hate... I know FIFA wants to be realistic and shit. I've never seen in a single football game two players run into each other and falling over. It just doesn't work like that. And then more FIFA aids. My player just wants to, like, reach out for the ball when he's got no chance. And the guy puts in the back on there. We end up going from 2-0 up down to 4-2 against Bard FC, which is a fucking nightmare. But um, as you can see, there's same shots on target. I had 10% more possession than him. And again, how does that work? Like, come on, the FIFA 8 is just real. Um, but um, we're going to go for another player we've already gone for, and that's going to be Miranda, because we need to get some of these upgrades in the position. I'm trying to get a all upgrade in every position. So striker, the cams, the CDMs, and the fence, um, centre-backs and stuff like that. Um, but the goalkeeper, there's no need to upgrade. Um, very, very good goalkeeper. Um, Danilo Navas... I'm sorry, Danilo, okay. I think it's the more... I think it's time for a formation change. And I need to wait until I have the players to do that. But I'm going to downgrade Fernandinho to Ibsen. And the formation change is probably going to be the 4-2-3-1, which I'm not too sure where. And I'm actually going to go for the second version when you have the right mid and the left mid. Um, and we've got some very, very strong players going in those positions if we can get the chance to upgrade to them. But so we go into the third and final game of this episode, guys. And uh, come against this team here. 
And um, I believe it's actually a fairly solid team off the top of my head. Yep, a um, BPL mixed with Bundesliga. Um, some very, very pacey players. Defence is rock solid. Courtois in goal. Um, Schweinsteiger, Royce, Lewandowski, Goza, Blazikowski, Yaya Torre, Richards, Company, Davi Luiz and Felipe Luiz. Um, some very, very good solid players indeed in that team. And I was not looking forward to this game at all. Blazikowski picks up it in the middle here. Finds a ball into Marco Royce. Back heel into Yaya Torre. And look at that for an absolute finish from the Ivory Coast player there. Let's go and make that 1-0 there. Then move all the way to the dire moments of the game. Ball's up there. I was just going for the goal. Um, ultra attacking. Just trying to get a ball back. And what the fuck is going on here? Like, j like this guy took so long to put it in the back of the net. It's a fantastic finish. But I was just ballsing up. And I was pissed at this moment. Um, ended up losing the game again. And uh, Royce is just going to finesse that in back of the net to go and make that 3-0. Which um, it probably des didn't deserve. As you can see there, he had a lot more shots because I was not playing um, towards the end of the game. Uh, but I don't know. I just felt that at least one of mine should have gone in. And again, it was one of those nights where every game you seem to play, something seems to go against you. You seem to make the most stupid mistakes. Or the players just don't seem to be making the right runs, might rate making the best passes through balls and stuff like that. But uh, that means another downgrade, I do believe. Um, because we went for, I think, who did we go for? Miranda. Um, so um, that means we're now going to have five silver rare players in the team to our three gold rare, the rest being gold non-rare. So we are going backwards, which um is not good at all. Uh, but a bit of club maintenance before we end this episode, guys. So let's a mink of that like button. Awesome and subscribe to stay tuned to the series. And any feedback in the comment would be much appreciated. Guys, this has been Crush. Till next time, adios.